If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Laz and Rose subscribers and followers. I'm asked a question quite regularly whether, what, well, it's variations of the question, but usually it's something to the effect, what are you going to do when you grow old and you can't do this lifestyle anymore? Are you ever going to move back into a stick and brick? Are you going to, you know, upgrade? What, you know, what are you going to do? For me, I'm going to try to live this out as long as I can possibly do it. I'm, I got to be realistic about it also and understand that that just may not be possible. I may have to move back into a stick and brick one day. I, I get it. So I don't want to sit here and, and, and sugarcoat anything. You know, I always tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, the, I don't know if this is good, bad, or ugly or what it is. It's realistic. And I want to be honest that I, I don't know the answer. I was watching a uh, live feed. And I don't know if anybody knows how that works. It's a live feed where the YouTuber can get on, on, on live feed and interact with the viewers. I have mine every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And, and so you can type questions or comments and everybody can see these questions and comments and I can answer them or, or anyway. So I was watching a live feed the other day of a very uh, large uh, RV YouTuber. And somebody asked that person the same question, which is better, living in a stick and brick or this lifestyle when you get old? And I, I was very disappointed in the answer. I, I really was hoping that there would have been uh, some thought to this because I've given this a ton of thought. And their answer was, what's the difference? Living out here or in a stick and brick? That is concerning to me. What is the difference? There was 1,200 people watching. This YouTuber has a very large channel. And there are people out there who trust this YouTuber. I know because I met someone who came out here to do this lifestyle and said she she hates this lifestyle but said she got the idea from this youtuber so this youtuber has a lot of influence on his viewer here we are we're going to tell somebody but you need to come out here sell all your possessions and live on the road and when you get old you're gonna be fine don't worry about it that's in the future forget about it and i have an example when we started our adventure, we did a test run, you know, this was last year, did a test run and we came down to Florida. And we stopped at a campsite in Florida, that had, a free one, that had a campsite hose. That is very unusual. You never find a campsite, free campsite, with a, a campsite hose. Well, in all the campsites we've stayed at, we've only seen two. And this one was extraordinary. The second one, uh, they, they just kind of clean the bathrooms and rake, but they, they didn't have a lot of influence with the campers. The other one does interact with them and had electric and running water bath. It, it, it was a unique campsite. In the campsite, there was an RV, Class C, that nobody was in for the longest time. I, I think we were there two weeks, and that RV had been empty probably for a week. Well, one day... A medical van pulls up. They get an older lady, a senior citizen lady. I, I would say she was definitely probably in her 70s, 80s. I mean, she was, she was, you know, pretty senior. And they put her in a wheelchair and they rolled her up to the van, to the Class C. The campsite host comes out with his wife and kids to help with this whole thing. And they get her into the camper. A few minutes later, the medical person in, comes out and starts talking to the campsite host. And his wife and i can overhear some of it they're talking about her medical condition i mean she's got a you know an oxygen mask and she's obviously fairly feeble she can't walk very well and they're talking to her about medications and giving her giving them instructions and and, and different things maybe the campsite host and the older lady was related that's the only thing i can imagine of course, I hadn't asked any questions about the RV the whole time I'm there. So, I, But while we were there, we kept seeing the campsite host go in it. Well, after it was all said and done, uh, I was talking to the campsite host. And I saw, I saw, I saw uh, you know, they brought the lady to the, to the Class C. I said, is she your mother or family? Oh, no, no. She's a senior citizen. She parked here a, a few months ago. And of course, I only had a two-week stay limit. But I guess she got permission to stay there. 
she got sick. The campsite host had to go to town to call an ambulance because they didn't have cell phone signal there. And I understand that. So they called an ambulance. The ambulance comes out, gets her, and takes her to the hospital and different things. When they come back, she has no one to take care of her. So the campsite host had to, what he ended up doing was disassembling the campground, moving her Class C with her in it behind the bathrooms, hooking her up to ele his electric and his water. I guess they were sharing, I would assume. I'm not even sure if that was legal. I mean, I, I don't know. And so he was telling me that she has nobody to take care of, him, take care of her. So he wanted to make sure she was taken care of until, you know, they could get a hold of a family member or, or whatever. I didn't get all the details. This lady lived in her camper. And now she's sick and she has nobody to take care of her. Except the goodness of a campsite host, who it's not their job to take care of her, at a free campsite. That, and since free campsites don't normally have campsite hosts, this was just all luck for her. It was incredible. So no, I don't think that it was good advice for this large YouTuber to suggest that it's no different. It's absolutely different. What is, I don't know a lot about this lady, but what is she going to do? What did she do? I, I've worried about her ever since. In my opinion, you need to keep the option of going back to your stick and brick in your head while you, you know, be, what, if you come out to do this type of lifestyle. So. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And